Hey guys, welcome back to my channel Design Mansion. Today we are going to discuss about the remaining feature of uh, in the dress up feature toolbar. So, which is a uh, shell thickness red and red or tap and uh, in this uh, remove faces there are two features remove faces or replace faces so and uh, we'll discuss uh, chamfer also so we'll discuss one by one so our first feature is a uh, shell so finally shell is a feature means emptying it while keeping the given thickness of its sides and uh, shelling may also consist in adding the thickness to the outside so this tutorial will get the basic idea so this is the part body i have drawn so first of all i have i want to, to say uh, this uh, cad file you will get the uh, website uh, i will drop the website link in the description so you will download this file CAD file and you can do the practice so let's uh, get back to command shell so I will apply this shell so for example I wanted to apply shell on that side so having the thickness of uh, 5 mm and ok so you can see the thickness is applied shell is applied and this thickness is 5 mm to each face constant thickness on each face so for example i wanted to also shell on this face okay so you can apply many faces also so I will get the result so if you have the requirements so different thickness on the for example that face or that face so this select the other face Okay, so I'll set, select this other face and select this face. So you can see the thickness. For example, I wanted here 20 mm thickness on that face. So, okay, here you can see here these three sides you have to apply 5 mm thickness and uh, you will get here 20 mm thickness okay so you can select many faces as uh, similar as the faces to remove for the shell okay however you can change the dimensions also for example i wanted to say change this is at 10 mm this is 20 and other remains keep as 5 mm so that's all about this shell, shell shell command so next command is our thickness so for the thickness I have draw this uh, feature and I will apply the thickness on that face okay further for this I have to define this body so I have applied the thickness on the top face for example I wanted to add this thickness uh, at uh, 50 mm and I will apply ok so you can see the thickness is added means I just extrapolate or uh, extend this face at the this face ok so you can change And you can also change the other other thickness faces also. 
for example i will select this face also so i wanted this face 30 mm and this face 20 mm so we will add the thickness as per our requirement okay so i have applied the radius at this edge so radius is 20 mm for example i have added the thickness on this face so by default it will select the these three faces this one this one and this one because of i have, I have applied the radius so it will tangent that's, that's why it will select this face okay so i have applied the thickness at 90 so we can see the thickness radius here 1 mm this is the 1 mm radius i will show you okay this is the 1 mm radius because this radius is I have applied the 20 mm. You can see edge fillet. Double click on that. You can see 20 mm. So furthermore, I will select uh, select this thickness added the 20 mm. So thickness here the radius will remove. Okay, this is a special case okay that's all about this thickness feature so next is a thread and tap basically thread and tap is a tap means tap is always please uh, note uh, keep in mind tap is always in internal dimension okay and thread is always in outer dimension so i have to apply the here lateral face limit face this is the geometrical definition which uh, we have to apply the lateral face first so i have applied the thread first so i have selected the outer dimension okay so this is outer dimension for the thread and limit face so this is my limit face where i have to add the thread so for example i have the i have to add the thread at the 50 mm okay so you can see the orange line at the depth of 50 mm okay my dear here you can see the tap on thread definition dialog box uh, there are many feature in that uh, numerical definition you can select this type matrix type thin matrix pitch matrix thick pitch hmm. here no standard so you can apply the for example i have the matrix thin thin pitch so this is automatically select the standard thickness such as m10 m20 such like that okay here you can select the pitch also and uh, you can edit the thread definition also thread depth also here right threaded or left threaded you can change the right threaded you wanted to right threaded uh, threading tab or you can select the left threaded tab with threaded threadings okay so this is preview can say okay so in the 3d modeling you can you can't see the threading okay so for that you have to you have to go in the drafting so i have made the the drafting here you can see the threading or you want to see this uh, threading you have to 
go in properties and uh, you have to select hidden hidden lines and this is thread okay so you can see the thread if you untick this uh, thread so you can't see the threadings okay so you have to skip always on this threading okay you can see this threading in the drafting okay similarly you can see the tap also tap is always in the interface okay so i have applied the tap on id face okay okay so this is limiting face limiting face preview okay so you can see the tap in the so I have update here the tap is applied you can change the length also for example I have changed the length print payment Okay, what is this? Okay, yeah. this is the thread depth. Sixty mm change. 60 mm. you can modify as per our requirement okay so next uh, next command is our remove faces and replace face so in that remove play remove faces this is very important for the remastering and uh, <coughs> remastering for the 3d modeling so it is also called as the reverse engineering or remastering you can call remastering so now we firstly we discuss about the remove faces. So I have I have drawn the 3D model. So firstly I have applied the this draw the 3D model and after that I have applied the radius on these two face. After that this face after that this horizontal uh, vertical radius and after that I have applied the radius on the horizontal like that line so I want to just remove the faces so this is the dialog definition so firstly I have removed the face okay this face so it will easily remove but I have select this face to remove this is this feature is failed you can see so why it is failed so because i have applied this face first i have applied the edge fillet on that both side and after that this fillet i have applied so you have to remove this face first this one these faces you have to remove okay and after that you can easily remove this fillet also okay so you have to just follow the you have to follow the procedure Similarly, you remove this face, you can remove. First, remove this face. You are, you are able to remove, but this face can't be removed. Okay. Okay, this is all about the face to remove. This is, this feature is very important when you are uh, working on the remastering command remastering feature okay so next one is a replace face so in that replace face faces 
so you have to draw the spline i have draw this spline okay and i have apply the surface means i have extruded this so in, i have to i will go in surfacing shape and generative shape and i have applied the extrude thick extrude i have generated this feature in surfacing so for that command we have to require the one surface for the reference so i have select the replace face so replacing the replacing face so i have select this face which i want to replacing and face to remove i have select this bottom uh, bottom face and okay so you can see how it will give the result this is the replace face command how you can it can be used okay so that's all about the remove faces replace faces okay so now we'll discuss the edge fillet uh, chamfer command so i'll go on chamfer so it will similar as the edge fillet so in chamfer we select this define work object for example i select the chamfer we apply the directly on the face or you can apply the manually to the each edge you can vary the angle also here i have select the mode length or angle so first i have applied the length and i have applied the angle for example 30 degree so you can check preview okay and you can change also here from i apply the length to length so i have applied the length first this is 10 mm or second one is 20 mm so you can see the angle create okay 10 on 10 10 mm or 20 mm according to length angle will create automatically so here you will get the propagation tangency and minimal I apply the shell that's why we will do this that's all about the chamfer so that is all about the dress of feature toolbar so if you have any doubt do comments i will definitely get back to you and uh, please uh, don't forget to subscribe my channel and uh, press the bell icon for the uh, getting the updates of latest videos like and share this uh, videos thank you guys thanks for watching